Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand reverse address resolution protocol. In short, it is called as RARP. The concept of ARP, address resolution protocol, has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video because the, the concept that we have discussed, just the opposite of this is what we, go, what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now what is reverse address resolution protocol in the address resolution protocol we have seen that if we have the mac address if you have the ip address we are going to get the mac address for the given ip address we are going to get the corresponding mac address the reverse of it is if we have the mac address we are going to get the corresponding ip address where it is used so in the uh, normal communication in the normal general communication we we are in need of mac addresses but where we need the ip addresses so the need is there so uh, whenever the networks does not have the memory devices secondary memory devices hard disks are not there for the systems in the network for example if you consider this system this uh, uh, this network in this network these systems will not have the hard disks so uh, such kind of network in such kind of networks they don't have the capacity to remember the IP addresses as we don't have the memory they don't have the capacity to remem remember the IP addresses so in such case we will have the MAC address so every system will have network interface card right NIC card so on that in the NIC card we will have the MAC address we will have the MAC address and we have to get the IP address how we are going to get that so for that so uh, before that before before how to get the details how the details of IP addresses so where they are used so have you seen any such kind of networks on which the systems does not have the hard disks for example if you take engineering college uh, networks so uh, on those uh, uh, on those networks they don't have so for example so the best example to understand this is uh, if you if uh, you have gone to a lab uh, gone to the computer lab and uh, uh, on that you you sat on this uh, computer and have and you have prepared a word document after some time uh, a word document and it is stored on the computer and after some time what we will do is you will go to the lab again and uh, for example if you sit on this system and uh, if you uh, now on this system also we can access our our content how can we do that you have to log in with the uh, uh, we have to give the credentials login credentials and after logging in we can access the specific memory that is allocated for us so have you ever experienced it so there are uh, labs in the engineering uh, uh, engineering colleges where we can we can access our content from any of the system in the uh, in the laboratory so what what we will do is we will have a separate server file system server so on that server all the content of these systems all the content of these systems will get stored on this server so we have to provide so there we will have a client on each and every machine we will have a client means we will have some interface on that interface we have to provide the username and password so whenever we provide username and password so we will get connected to this server so on this server every every system will be having a, a, a specific amount of memory allocated so now the user can access that part of the memory and he can get the content from any of these systems on the network so in such case as the systems does not have the memory device secondary memory secondary memory device they are not capable of remembering certain kinds of things so in those kinds of uh, certain kinds of things so one of the thing is ip address ip address if, if these systems want to get connected to internet they should know their ip address but as they are not having the memory device they are not capable of remembering those ip addresses now what this network will do is in this network we will have a separate server called rarp server so on this server 
so what this server for example assume that this is the RARP server so what this server contains of contains is it contains all the details all the MAC addresses of the systems that are located on this on this network all the uh, MAC addresses and the corresponding IP addresses so for example if you take MA so for for this system the corresponding IP address is IA for M, MB in the sense MAC address of B so for this system means the MAC address will be there on the NAC card so the hardware uh, network interface card so the uh, for this system for this MB the corresponding IP address is IB similarly MC the corresponding IP address is IC so this is the table that is maintained this is one of the a job that is done by the RARP server okay so it will have this details maintained on this server and it is going to give the corresponding IP address how that is done so far we have seen in uh, what is the use of this uh, uh, in what way this uh, 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 reverse address resolution protocol is used but how that communication is done for example if a wants to get its IP address it, it wants to get connected to the internet now what the a will do is it will send a packet packet so what kind of packet so this is going to send a packet it is stating that my mac address is ma my mac address is ma and i don't know my ip so if you don't know the ip what is the ip address that we have to give so the ip address 0.0.0.0 so this ip address is the address by seeing this we can understand that so this particular system does not know the uh, uh, IP address okay so and this is the uh, network layer packet so uh, this address resolution reverse address resolution address resolution protocol is a network layer protocol uh, uh, so this this packet will be transferred to the data link layer uh, data link layer so in the data link layer so to this uh, packet to this packet so it will attach its MAC address so the MAC address is MA so as we know that it is the MAC address MA we don't know the MAC address of uh, RARP because if we can store the uh, if we have the abilities to store RARP address MAC address we can store our own MAC IP address right so now what it will do is it will put this destination address as a broadcasting address so we know that uh, the broadcasting is done by using limited broadcasting so within the network broadcasting so we need six okay so this broadcast address will be provided in the data link layer and uh, 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 it will so by seeing this what it what 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 it will be done is so it will get broadcasted to each and every system so as and when the packet this this data frame has been received at RARP server so the server will understand by seeing this packet with this IP address that this is the this is the system which does not know about the IP address it is requesting this is the uh, RARP request packet so what it will do it will go into this table and it will verify for this corresponding IP address MA will get mapped with MA and now this IP address will be transferred back as a reply by the RARP server so what the reply is it is going to put the MAC address uh, sorry IP address in the reply IP address A and it is and it will unicast that packet unicast means directly it will get transmitted it will not get broadcasted it is not the broadcast packet so here it is going to give in the destination MAC address it is going to give MA and this is MR so it is the uh, MR means RARP uh, uh, MAC address and the destination is MA as so the the thing will get unicasted so it is not broadcasted directly this will get received to at a so after receiving a it is going to get the ip address and it will get connected to the internet so now what are the disadvantages of this uh, uh, reverse address resolution protocol is for example if we have too many sub networks that are connected uh, to this network so one single network one single company but it have different uh, uh, different departments and each department is having its own network and all those networks are interconnected so these are the sub networks so in such case 
so how many so how this rrp is going to get executed so so can we access these values uh, uh, from this network so we cannot go beyond this network so in such case what we have to do is in the reverse address resolution protocol every network should have a rrp server so this network will also have rrp server every system every system will have okay every system will have its own rirp uh, rirp server and each server is going to maintain all the mac addresses and corresponding ip addresses details within these servers this is uh, with this we are going to have a maintenance issue so the maintenance of these values and uh, all the rir uh, all these tables is very difficult okay this is one of the problem and the other problem is uh, this table is a static table in the sense in the sense for every mac address we should have an ip address so all the systems in the network is going to have its own ip address but these days this is not the case so we don't have a constant or a static ip address if you have an ma means if you have this mac address we you should have an ip address this is the ip address this is the mac address means this is the ip address so no such kind of systems are used these days and these these uh, uh, concepts these uh, implementations are no more in use so for better understanding we are discussing this concept so these are uh, static tables so every ip should have an uh, every system on the network should have an ip address these days we are going to use dynamic ip addresses so if you have 100 systems we are going to have less number of ip addresses as and when required we are going to get that ip address so out of those uh, 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 given uh, ip addresses we are going to uh, pick one okay so at this point of time you may have a specific ip so we are going to discuss about that concept in detail in a, a later video so these systems are no, no more used hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching